Okay, this is uh, how the radio uh, turned out. Um, it was a lot of work stripping the unit. Um, it revealed a, a wood, not a perfect, but a um, the original wood beneath the veneer, um, which still shows some of the imperfections of um, drinks being left on the top, maybe cigarettes, whatever, but overall, pretty good shape. It's actually, it almost seems like it's indestructible, um, this, this uh, wood underneath. It's, it's really, really tough. Um, so then I used uh, a mahogany um, stain, uh, Danish oil, actually, and uh, so the front which is a different type of wood, blends pretty good with, with the top. And uh, replace the screen in the front, or the, uh, the cloth with the screen in the front. I use, I use, use a double layer, which gives it a pretty good look. Um, and it should last, last for many, many years. And uh, cleaned up the glass, was able to get the, uh, the cable working so that you can actually see the stations change with the dial now um, and replaced all the capacitors uh, put the uh, brought the power cord uh, instead of being spliced and actually soldered it in a hole so that uh, it's it, the unit is solid now and it, it's way more attractive and the stations come in pretty good and I'm, I'm happy with the unit. It was more work than I expected uh, stripping the veneer off. It was just a real tough, almost plastic, um, real messy, but uh, I'm happy with how the unit turned out. So uh, thanks again for uh, joining Stop in Time.